Often, people will send you MATLAB files and ask you to run them. This video will teach you how to do that and how to make sure they're running properly. This video assumes that you've already installed MATLAB and have a basic familiarity with the interface. If you don't, please watch the previous two videos called Installing MATLAB and Using MATLAB. There are two kinds of files in MATLAB, scripts and functions. A script is a self-contained piece of code, meaning that you don't have to give it any information, you just tell it to go and it does its thing. For example, this script, this script will display this bit of text. Because the text is specified in the code, it doesn't need anything from you. You just click run and it does it. So you can see that bit of text showing up now here in the command window. Scripts are usually used for running experiments, because when you're running an experiment, you're asking it to do the same thing over and over again, and then just record participants' responses. The responses participants give don't actually reflect how the code runs necessarily. A function is a piece of code that takes an input and gives you an output. For example, this function will take any text you give it and flip it backwards. So if I run it, give it text input, it will give me the output of took me, which is input backwards. So functions are usually used more for data analysis, and they're often used within scripts. So a function might give you the square root of a number or uh, perform a series of operations on some data and give you an output. Essentially, scripts do something, functions do something to something. For both scripts and functions, the way to get from a file to something that does something is you open it in MATLAB, which I've done already. And for scripts, you just press run, uh, making sure that you're clicked onto this window here. And so you're in the editor tab. For functions, you click the down arrow below run and then type in whatever input you want to give it. If you just click the run button when you're running a function, it will just run it using the last input you gave it. So that's how to run scripts and functions in MATLAB. 